Right. So while everyone's been obsessing over humanoid robots that look exactly like us, China just quietly dropped something that completely flips the script. And honestly, it makes so much more sense than what everyone else is doing. You're in a factory, and there's a robot that doesn't just have two arms like a human. It has six, six fully functional arms working simultaneously. And before you think this is some concept video or far off prototype, this thing is rolling into an actual factory in China by the end of this month. We're talking weeks, not years. The robot's called Miro Yu, made by Mydea Group, and here's what's brilliant about it. Instead of trying to perfectly copy human movement, which let's be honest is insanely complex and kind of pointless in a factory, they asked a better question. What if we just focused on getting more work done? And that's exactly what they built. Miro Yu sits on a wheeled base, which immediately tells you they're thinking practically. No wobbly balance issues, no falling over, just fast, stable movement. It's got a lifting system so it can adjust height. And it spins a full 360 degrees without moving the base. But here's where it gets really interesting. Those six arms aren't just for show. The lower arms handle heavy lifting and positioning. The upper arms do precision work, fastening, assembly, the detailed stuff. And it can do three different tasks at the same time in the same space. Think about what that means for a production line. Usually, when factories change over between different products, they lose massive amounts of time. You need multiple workers, or you're swapping out equipment, reconfiguring stations. Mydea reckons Miro U can boost changeover efficiency by 30%. That's huge money we're talking about. And get this, Mida's CTO literally called it a super humanoid. Now normally that's just marketing fluff, but in this case, it kind of fits. This robot genuinely does things humans can't. It works at multiple height levels. Spins without repositioning, swaps tools instantly, and has stamina we simply don't have. What's really telling is that my idea isn't just throwing robots at walls to see what sticks. They bought the German robotics company KUKA back in 2017, so they've got serious industrial automation knowledge. They've split their robot development into two tracks. The Miro series for heavy industrial work. And another line called Mia for service roles, retail stores, customer interaction, that sort of thing. Those are coming in 2026. Meanwhile, this isn't happening in isolation. In the UK, a startup called Humanoid just built a bipedal robot that learned to walk in 48 hours using simulation. MIT's got a system that turns spoken words into actual physical objects. And in Hangzhou, there's already an AI traffic cop on public streets directing real cars. None of this is concept art or clever CGI. It's all real, it's all happening now, and it's moving faster than most people realize. The six-arm robot is just the most obvious example of something important. We've been so focused on making robots look human that we forgot to ask whether that's even the right goal. Turns out, when you optimize for the job instead of the form, you get something far more capable. And here's what makes this even more significant. Mydea isn't treating this as a research project. They've already got the factory lined up, the Wuxi washing machine plant in Jiangsu province. Real products, real production schedules, real stakes. If Miro Yu works as promised, we're looking at a fundamental shift in how factories operate. Not in 10 years, not in 5, literally within months. The thing is, this six-arm approach solves problems that two armed humanoids can't touch. When you're assembling something complex, you often need to hold multiple components steady while fastening others. Humans deal with this by using jigs and fixtures, or having multiple people work together. Miro Yu just uses more arms. It's elegantly simple when you think about it. So yeah, China didn't just cross a line. They redrew it entirely, and the rest of the world is scrambling to catch up. These systems are piloting, deploying, and scaling right now. That's where I'll leave it.
If you want more deep dives like this, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.